So this time I am going to explain a movie called Freaks, released in 2018, spoiler is on the way. Seven-year-old Chloe has never been out of an abandoned house. She lives together along with her father, Henry, her mom died years ago. We see Chloe eyeing an ice cream van outside her house through a hole. There are some abnormal things outside Chloe's residence. We see that the birds outside are not moving and appear to be glitching. The electricity in the house is always out, and there appears to be no life outside the house. Henry always gets furious when she peeks outside. She is forbidden to leave the house in fear of the bad men who killed her mom. One day, as the two play poker, Henry's eyes start to bleed. That night while sleeping, Chloe heard an abnormal noise from her closet. She opens it to check, when suddenly, a woman inside the closet screams. Chloe too yells in fear. She runs back to her bed and starts to scribble on the wall, repeating the words, go away ghost finally the screaming stops and the ghost is gone. The following morning, Chloe wakes up to the sound of an ice cream truck and peeks through a window. Her neighbor's daughter, Harper, is buying ice cream. She whispers to Harper to bring it to her, knowing that she won't hear it. However, soon after, someone knocks on the doors. Chloe rushes downstairs and opens the door. Surprisingly, it is Harper, offering her the ice cream. Just as she is about to grab it, Henry from behind her stops her. Surprisingly again, Harper calls Chloe by her name. Henry is confused, as he has never introduced Chloe to anyone, so he quickly brings her inside. Henry is furious and asks her if she had met Harper before. But Chloe insists that she has never been out of the house, but he doesn't believe her and puts her into the closet as a punishment. The following morning, Henry comes into the closet and apologizes to her, but she is still mad at him and insists that she wants to go out. Henry promises to bring her ice cream if she never opens the door again. He then leaves for the grocery store, but comes back injured with a gun in his hand. As he mends his injuries, Chloe looks for ice cream in the basket he has brought and finds no ice cream. She starts to yell at her father but he passes out because of the injury. Just then, Chloe hears the ice cream truck ringing. She gets a $100 bill from the locker and goes outside. The old man in the truck bribes her with an ice cream cone and persuades her to get inside the truck. She is doubtful, but gets in once he says he will take her to the park. They drive away, and Chloe sees the outside world for the first time. She sees a billboard of a person bleeding from his eyes. Below the picture, it says to call 911 if you see someone like that. Chloe mentions that the man bleeds like her dad. The old man then asks her if she has ever bled like that, but Chloe denies it. When they reach the park, the man sits Chloe on a swing and asks her if there is something she can do that other people cannot. But Chloe doesn't answer, too busy playing. Suddenly, he starts to swing her aggressively. Chloe is scared and asks him to stop, but the man tries to make her angry to surface her powers. Eventually, a policeman approaches them and asks him to step away from the girl. The old man claims that he is Chloe's grandfather, but Chloe denies it. The officer then asks Alan to show his eyes. Alan turns to Chloe and tells him that the officer is one of the bad guys who killed her mother. Chloe becomes upset and starts screaming at the man to go away. Surprisingly, it works, he goes away without another word. It turns out that Chloe has telepathic abilities, the ability to enter and manipulate other people's minds. The old man begins to realize that Chloe is a special child and brings her back home. On their way, he tells Chloe about her mother, Mary, and gives her a picture of her. He reveals that he is actually Chloe's grandfather, Alan, before parting ways. He gives her a powder and tells her to drug her dad when she hears the ice cream truck ring. This will make Henry fall asleep and Chloe can go to the park. She takes the powder and goes inside. Henry wakes up and sees Chloe in her room drawing. She accuses him of lying about the bad people outside the house, and the two get into a fight. That night, she looks at Mary's picture and imagines her. Suddenly, the closet starts making noise again. Chloe goes in and sees the ghost she had seen a few days ago. But now, she recognizes her as her mother, Mary. She introduces herself. But Mary pushes her away saying that Chloe isn't real and just a hallucination. So Chloe runs out of the closet. Turns out that Chloe also has a long-distance telepathic ability and could make other people at a distance see and talk to her. In the morning, the father is sleeping while watching the news. Chloe silently listens to the news. From the news, Chloe finds out that they are strange people, often called the freaks. Freaks have super abilities causing their eyes to bleed out when they use them. Ten years ago, a freak messed up the city of Dallas and killed thousands of people. Since then, the government has set up a defense force against strange people called the ADF. The ADF arranges for all freaks to be held in an underground facility on Mount Maddox, and freaks roaming the city are considered illegal and could be killed immediately. An ADF agent named Agent Ray reveals her plan to train the freaks on Mount Maddox to be used as weapons in battles. After hearing the news, Chloe is devastated. She hopes that one day she will be adopted by the Reeds family so that she can become a normal family member and have a mother figure who loves her. Later, Chloe is playing with paper toys, wishing that she lived with Harper. Just then, Harper and her friends arrive in the room. Harper screams at Chloe, asking her why she is in her room. The two seem to be in their respective room but somehow have met each other because of Chloe's power. Harper's friends make fun of Chloe for not having a mother. Chloe cries and screams. Harper and her friends are gone, and Mary appears in the closet. At first, her mother doesn't believe it is her daughter and thinks it is just a hallucination, but she begins to realize that Chloe has telepathic powers and that it is really her. Chloe starts talking to her mother. It turns out that Chloe's mother, Mary, is also a freak, and she is still alive and being held in Mount Maddox. 
but not long after, her mother suddenly disappears again. Chloe tells Henry about her mother, but he doesn't believe her. Seeing no other way to escape, she tries to drug her father. Henry realizes what she's doing and chases her to the door. She commands him to sleep and he slips down to the floor as Chloe's eye bleeds for the first time. She meets Alan in his truck and he tells her about his plan. Alan explains that Chloe's mother is still alive, but is being held captive on Mount Maddox. He plans to go to Mount Maddox by meeting an ADF agent, Ray. Alan takes Chloe to see Agent Ray. He then makes up a story about him being a priest and Chloe being his adopted daughter. He lies that he has just found out that Chloe is a freak. He asks Agent Ray to protect Chloe and take her to Mount Maddox, and Alan also wants to go there to accompany Chloe. Then, Agent Ray checks for traces of blood under Chloe's eyes to make sure she's a freak. Ray also checks Alan's eyes, but finds no traces under his. Being called a freak, Chloe gets offended and yells that she is not a freak. Ray calls for backup thinking that Chloe is dangerous. Luckily, Alan and Chloe manage to escape by suddenly disappearing. It turns out that Alan is also a freak who has the ability to become invisible. He has been using hydrogen peroxide to remove the traces of blood under his eyes. The two flee from there. Chloe asks him to take her back home, but he wants to take Chloe to his apartment to teach her how to use her powers so they can help Chloe's mother. She uses her power to make him drive home. Suddenly, Henry appears on the road and he takes Alan and his truck and they just disappear. Moments later Henry returns to Chloe. He begins to explain everything to Chloe. It turns out that all this time Henry is also a freak. He has the ability to create a time bubble that slows time in the outside world, while the person inside the bubble performs normally. All this time he had created a time bubble around their house which worked as long as he wasn't asleep. To the rest of the world, it had only been a few months since Chloe's mother was arrested. But to the two of them, they had been hiding in the house for seven years. Deciding it's time to finally let Chloe go, he has prepared a plan in case something bad happens to him. He has made a deal with their neighbor, the Reeds family, in case of his absence. The Reeds will be paid a steady amount of money as long as they take care of his daughter. Henry takes her to the Reeds to fulfill their deal. Stephen agrees and introduces them to Nancy and Harper. Nancy soon realizes that Chloe is a freak, and backs out of the deal, saying that she didn't know they were supposed to be taking in a freak. Finally, they leave, while begging the Reeds to not report them to the police. Back in the house, Henry is shocked to see Chloe's eyes bleeding, and realizes that she already has super abilities. Afraid to trust her, Henry puts her in the closet. There. She meets her mother Mary who is being held at Mount Maddox, but suddenly the prison guard drags Mary outside. When Chloe comes out of the closet, she tells Henry about her mother. At first, Henry does not believe her, but finally, Alan explains everything. It turns out that when he and Mary attacked Mount Maddox, they lost, and Alan managed to escape, but Mary was captured, he thought Mary was killed, but it turns out that Mary was only detained. Suddenly Chloe sees her neighbor Nancy reporting them to the police. Chloe uses her telepathic powers to get a vision of what Nancy is talking about. Nancy calls Chloe a freak. Agitated, Chloe uses her power to influence the policeman. He stabs Nancy's eye, seeing her eyes bleeding. The ADF agents assume Nancy is a freak and shoot her right away. The Reeds family is eventually arrested by the ADF, assuming they are all freaks. Henry is mad at Chloe for killing someone, but Alan defends her and they fight. Chloe immediately goes to her room, where she has a vision of Mary being captured. Henry and Alan then come, and Henry is shocked to see his wife. Apparently, Mary will be put to death soon. Henry tries to shoot the doctor, but of course he can't because it is just an illusion. Henry and Alan bid farewell to Mary, but suddenly Chloe uses her telepathic powers to control the doctor's mind and uses the device to kill himself. Chloe enters the mind of the other officer to free her mother. Just then, the doorbell rings. It is Agent Ray. She has come to investigate them. Henry freezes the time and dresses up as a realtor trying to sell the house. Alan gives him hydrogen peroxide to remove the bloodstains from his face. He lets Ray in and checks Henry for the bloodstains. When she doesn't find any, they talk for a while. It turns out that she already knows who he is. Meanwhile, Chloe is freeing Mary from the establishment. Alan comes to help Henry. But before he can do anything, Ray shoots him, wounding him badly. Alan goes invisible before she can do the same to him. She then goes upstairs to see Chloe trying to free Mary. She shoots her. But Alan comes in between and saves Chloe's life at the cost of his. Agitated, Chloe controls Ray's mind and makes her shoot herself. She then says her last goodbye to her grandfather, outside. The police have surrounded the house after hearing gunshots, while Chloe continues saving her mother. She controls the guards who are about to capture Mary and makes them kill each other. She then opens the exit door for Mary and lets her free. Mary comes outside and flies away using her power. Chloe falls unconscious because of the overuse of her power. Meanwhile, a missile then locks itself into the house, and the wounded Henry uses his powers one last time to slow it down. He carries Chloe outside as the missile hits the house, burning it behind him. When Chloe wakes up, Henry says his last goodbye and tells her that he loves her. Henry dies from his gunshot wound. Chloe mourns her father's death when she hears gunshots. ADF agents are still searching out Chloe, trying to capture her. Suddenly, the shooting stops as Mary arrive on time to save her. Chloe and Mary meet for the first time and she promises to hide and guard her forever. However, Chloe tells her that they don't need to hide anymore, and they can live wherever they want. Touched by her daughter's confidence, in the end Mary flies away with her hands around Chloe. Thanks for watching, bye.